two years later, Pharaoh's sleep was disturbed by strange dreams. In one dream, he was standing in a field by the River Nile when seven plump, well-fed cows came out of the water and began to feed on the grass. These were followed by seven thin, bony cows who ate up the first cows. All the wisest men in Egypt couldn't help Pharaoh to understand what his dream meant. Then the butler remembered Joseph and mentioned to him, to Pharaoh. Joseph was instantly brought to the palace. There will be seven years of good harvests, explained Joseph. After that, seven years of bad harvests will follow. You must store food in good years to help you through the bad. Pharaoh could see that Joseph was a man of God. He was so impressed with him that he made Joseph his chief minister and gave him his own gold ring and, gave, and a gold chain and fine clothes as a mark of his new role. Once again, everything happened just as Joseph predicted. After Pharaoh, he was the most powerful man in Egypt and because he had planned well, there was still plenty to eat when the years of famine came.